Okay, Jimmy O from Joe Blow. Joe, it's an absolute Hi, pleasure, man. Thank you, thank you. So happy talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I, you know, I've I've watched your career from the Raid Redemption to to Fast and Furious to to this. How did you get involved with this this character, no less? <laughs> well, uh, believe is the word. I think Simon believed in me, and then he told me that my name came up first. That he said the only one that I want to play Sub Zero is Joe Taslim. So that's why they cast me first. So I got the call, and then when I heard that it's a straight offer, Simon just loved you so much, and then he trusts you, and he wanted you. You were the only one that he thinks that can pull this character. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. I, I couldn't believe it. And then every time I'm you know on set, I was like, Simon, I'm like, what were you thinking? I know. I know. It has to be you. It has to be for this character. So it came with a lot of responsibility for sure that I got to do my best, man, which I did everything. I give my heart. I give the sweat, the blood and everything for this role. And I really hope the fans love it when they see it. I guess that's got to be a big worry coming into a role like this, knowing the, the past and how people love this character people love the story yeah, yeah. people love the games did you what how did you approach playing him was there something you any secrets you discovered about him well i always i for a character i always trace what happened before i think what happened to him what happened to his father and i researched a lot and i'm so lucky because the lore of mortal kombat is so big and then everything you want to know it's there so finding the story about his dad, probably the last Cyromancer from Edenia, outcasted to the art world, fell in love with uh, American Asian American woman. They have kids, and then they died. They got their their kids got abducted by the Lin Kuei, trained to be assassins. Those the background story helped me a lot to embody this character. And I know Sub Zero is not just a villain. It's not just a vicious assassin. It, he had a really, really dark past. Like a very tragic happened to him when he was a kid. The path of him being like this assassin, he didn't choose this path. It was chosen for him. And then it's, it's pretty dark. And then I, I tried to understand everything. And I tried to bring all this information in my performance. And knowing this character is he has a lot of pain mm -hmm. he just introvert he doesn't trust the world because the world kind of like treating him bad and then the only good side of him is his relationship with his brother Kwai Liang that's probably that what I understand he is a badass dark assassin but I know for sure when he meets his brother he is a great one that's why Kwai Liang honored honored him and then use Sub-Zero and become the next Sub-Zero because they have a beautiful relationship. That's the good side of him that I think is important as well yeah. to have that balance. Yeah. Well, dude, I got to say you did a hell of a job. And I, unfortunately, we got to wrap it up, but it was an absolute pleasure talking to you, man. Uh, thank you. Thank you, James. I'm looking forward to the next one, brother. <laughs> looking forward. Looking forward. All pleasure.